Ray, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, we're here to do a, a lesson. Uh, this lesson is going to be for Spirit Power. We all about Shem Yahweh Shai about Yahweh Shai being the mediator, okay, between Israel and the Heavenly Father, okay, and uh, the importance of Yahweh Shai. You have to understand this. You come into this truth and you got to know, you know, who your mediator is, who's going to be advocating for you in the heavens, who you need to, um, Please, right, in order to be saved. Scripture says what? Kiss the son, lest he be angry. Right? Now, um, I want to start this off with uh, Galatians 3, verse 19. Uh, this is Galatians 3, and verse 19. Wherefore then serveth the law, it was added because of transgression, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. And it was ordained by angels in the land of a mediator. Now, now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but but a power is one. All right, the mediator, he mediates not just for one person, he mediates for everyone. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 21. Of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. Is the law then against the promises of the Most High? The Most High forbid for if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Yahweh might be given to them that believe. Right, faith in that mediator. You have to have faith in the mediator, okay, which is Yahweh Shai. That's how you're delivered. You're not delivered through the law because no one can keep the law perfectly. We're all, we all sin. See, but he's looking for those of a, in the right spirit, okay? You're not supposed to sin and be happy about the sin. You're supposed to be sorrowful and repentative, okay? Go ahead. Verse 23, but, but before faith come, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Yahweh Shai that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith has come, we are no longer un under a schoolmaster. Right, so that was to teach us, you know, the right way until what, Yahweh Shai came, okay? And then he brought the Holy Spirit, you see? So you have men that's on the earth right now, the elect, that's moving based upon what, the Holy Spirit, okay? Go ahead. Verse 26. For ye are all the children of the Most High by faith in Yahweh Shai. For, for as many of you as have been baptized into uh, the anointed have put on Yahweh Shai. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Right, so then people that get simple, Christians will, will go crazy and say, see, see, everyone can make it, Jew and Greek. No, when it speaks about Jew and it speaks about the Greek, that's speaking about the, the Israelites that were basically Hellenized. Okay, that was like a generic term for the Israelites that were following after other customs, but especially the Greek customs. It shows you in the Maccabees what happened. They were forced to keep the Greek way and do away with our ways. So they became Greeks. So it's speaking of those Israelites, man. It said there's no difference whether you're coming from, uh, uh, you know, a... Uh, following after, raised up after the ways of the heathen, or whether you're raised up as an Israelite, as long as you turn to Yahweh Shai. That's what it's about. When you turn to Yahweh Shai, it doesn't matter, because you're, 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 you're saved by what? The faith in Yahweh Shai. Okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shout out. Verse 29, And if ye be Yahweh Shai's, then ye are Abraham's seed. And heirs according to the promise. Well, that's it. All right, we know you're an Israelite based upon the faith that you have, based upon the spirit that you have. They might not have had, they didn't have the records, but you knew based upon what? The spirit. Okay? Uh, go ahead, brother. First Timothy 2 and 1. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplication, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. 
For this is the good and acceptable in the sight of the, of, of the Most High, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. For there is one power and one mediator between the Most High and men. You see that? So there's a Heavenly Father, which is a different entity from the, His Son, okay? Because you have certain people, you know, Christians teaching a doctrine that they're all the same. Right? You have Israelites that fall into that, that, that crazy doctrine. All right? They're two different entities, the Heavenly Father and then the Son, which is the mediator. Go ahead. Between, uh, for there is one power and one mediator between the Most High and men, and the man, Hamashiach, Yehoshai, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in What it says for all, what is it speaking about? The nation of Israel. Okay? It's not speaking about all humanity. Well, well, let's get 1 Corinthians um, 1 and 21 real quick. Just to show them that because, you know, people that don't understand, they'll get tripped up. This is 1 Corinthians. No, not 1 Corinthians. It's like Matthews 1 and 21. Sure. This is Matthews 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushai. For he shall save his people from their sins. So he came to what? Save his people from their sins. Let's get Romans the ninth chapter real quick, bro. Romans 9, <clears throat> verse, verse, uh, not a verse, 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 two. verse 2. That I, that I, sorry, verse 1. I no. see the truth in Yahweh Shai, I like not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. But I could wish that myself were cursed from Yahweh Shai for my brethren. My kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory. So see, so so he wished that he could have he would could have went upon the cross with Yahweh Shai for his brethren, right? And it says, who pertaineth what? The adoption, the glory, go ahead. And the covenants, mm -hmm. and the giving of the law, mm -hmm. and the service of Yahweh, and the promises, mm -hmm. whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came. So that's who he came for concerning the flesh. He came for who? The Israelites. I just told you that. You get a Matthew 15, 24. This is Matthew 15. And verse 24. Uh, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Alright, he's not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Well, go ahead. This is uh, Acts 5 and verse 30. The power the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on the tree. Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. That's right. So he gave repentance to who? To the, to the nation of Israel. That's who he came to give repentance. So when it says all, you have to understand what that all is. A lot of things they didn't say and reiterate because it was common knowledge, right? Like they, they didn't have to say that the Heavenly Father is, is above the Son. They didn't have to say that because that's, that's common, that's to be understood, right? Or that, that um, salvation is only for the Israelites. That should be understood, right? Go ahead, bro. Continuing in First uh, Timothy. Mm -hmm. 1 Timothy 2 and verse 7, whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Hamashiach and lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in the faith and, uh, and verity. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, where lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting, in like manner also that woman... That's what he said. What? Hebrews 8. And verse 6, but now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how by how much also he is a, the mediator for a better covenant which was established upon upon better promises. Right. Better covenant. Covenant and testament is, is interchangeable. Because when you're dealing with the New Testament, you're dealing with the new covenant. Okay, that came in based upon what? Yahweh Shai. Alright? Go ahead, let's find out what that covenant's all about. Go ahead. Yeah. Verse 7. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then shall no 
shall no place have been sought for the second. For if I may fall with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. Why they fought with them, meaning what? We fell away from the way. Right? We were given the law, statutes, and commandments. We fell away and we kept falling away. Get me up Daniel's the ninth chapter. Daniel's the ninth chapter. This is Daniel 9 and verse 11. Yea, or Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath thou, that is written in the law. you be stricken? And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Mosai, because we have sinned against him. You see that? You see that? We sinned against him. Why? Because we Jake Jake just kept going off. Well, the scriptures also say that the creature was subject to vanity. So on top of having wicked Israelites, right, we're automatically uh, subject to vanity, even the righteous. So we needed a new covenant. Go ahead. Back to the Hebrews 8 and verse Hold 8. Hold on, before you get that, go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Why should you be stricken anymore? Mm -hmm. You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Right. So they, they could do, listen, man, Jake as a whole was going to continue to go off. Right? Jake got the Heavenly Father so mad that there was a point where he said, listen, man, I'll just destroy them all and leave you, Moses, and raise up rocks. And Moses had, to, Moses had to make intercession for us, okay? You, so you have to understand how important this second covenant is because if you if you could be saved by the law, by your own righteousness, well, then try to keep the law perfect, man. Go ahead, try to keep the law perfect, even for one day. Try to keep the law perfect, man. You'll end up in, you'll end up in jail, man. Okay, trying to keep the law perfect. You can't keep the law perfect in jail, man. You see? Go to uh, um go back to Hebrews. What you say? Okay, go ahead. This is Jeremiah 15 and verse 1. Uh, then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people, cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Sin dwelleth in me. Get, give me that with Paul. Sin dwelleth in me. Real quick. Alright. So you have to understand the importance of this, this covenant that Yahweh Shai is the mediator of. Without this covenant, you would have nothing. This is why you have to give Yahweh Shai the praise. You have to. Okay? Because without his sacrifice, there's, listen, nothing, we wouldn't be able to make it. Okay? We wouldn't make it to the kingdom. Alright? He's the highest entity under the heavenly father, Yahweh. Uh, you found that? Yeah. Go, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Romans 7 and verse 17. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but... Oh, go, go up, go up, like two, two, three, two, three verses. Okay, all right. Uh, Romans 7 and verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal... Beautiful. So the law is good, right? So you got Christians talking about, I can't don't keep the law. The law is, you know, if you keep the law, you're wicked and this and that, you're guilty. When, the law is good. The law is spiritual. Right? They'll say you keep the law and they'll say you're carnal. No, the law is spiritual. Go ahead. For, so I like it. I'll read that again. Romans 7 and verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. Mm -hmm. For that for that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that I do not. Right, meaning what? When he did sin, he didn't like it. He wasn't happy about that. Right? So like the same thing that when we go off, we have a repentative spirit. We're mad about it, man. You see? Does it mean the Heavenly Father is going to destroy us right there and then? No. But it shows, and, and the Heavenly Father does that too to keep you in a humble spirit too. Because if you can do everything by your power, that would put, bring pride in. Right? The Heavenly Father doesn't want pride. You see that? So guess what? We can't keep the law perfectly. We're constantly going off. So by default, we need Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Uh, but what I hate that I do. <laughs> right. Right. The sin. All right. Go ahead. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that is that is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it. But I mean, what do you mean you consent unto the law? You consent that the law is a good thing. If, you have, if you're mad about what you're doing, then that means you understand you acknowledge that the law is good. Right? Just like these, these simple-minded Christians but see how the law's done away with saying, okay, can you can you commit adultery? Can you eat uh, uh can you eat a dead body? 
no, 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 you can't do that. Wait a minute, so you're consenting that the law is good. By them saying that, uh, by default, they're consenting that the law is a good thing. Go ahead. Verse 17, now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Ah, that's the sin in this flesh, these chains of darkness. Go ahead. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. Mm -hmm. For for to will is present with me, but how do I perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. That's it. That's it. The evil, meaning what? The sin. All right, so that's it on that. Uh, give me a, go back to Hebrews. Come. Hebrews 8 and verse 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them, Salake, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the new covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my they continue not in this covenant. What was the first covenant? The laws, statutes, and commandments written on tablets. Go ahead. Uh, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. And so I'll... instead of it being on tablets now, now it's going to be written inside of us, in our minds, in our hearts. When you look at the word heart in Hebrew, it's lav, which means your mind. Okay? So the heart's not speaking about the, the, the blood, the thing that pumps blood. It's speaking about your mind. Continue. Okay. Yeah, so I can. And write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. Mm -hmm. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. That's it. So all Israel is going to be righteous in the kingdom. Okay? But in order for that to have come, we needed Yahweh Shai to, to make that sacrifice to appease the wrath of his father, Yahweh. Does not the scripture say that it pleased him to bruise him? Yeah, it pleased him, meaning what? It appeased his wrath. Just like the destruction of America is going to appease his wrath in the times to come. All right? The, the nuclear fire burning of the wicked in America, that's going to please him. All right? Um, precept? Hebrews 9. Right, right. That's, that's, what, that's what I was going to ask for next. Yep, yep. Go ahead. Get that. From, yep, go ahead. 15. Okay. Uh, Hebrews 9. I'm going to try to start at uh, 13. 13. Okay. Hebrews 9 and 13. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkle the unclean, circle, so I can, sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to purifying of the flesh, how much more? Shall the blood of Hamashiach, right. who, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to the Most High, mm -hmm. pur purge our conscience from dead works to serve the living power? And for this cause, he is the mediator of a new testament, that by the means, that by means of death, for the re redemption of the transgression that were... Right, the new testament, meaning what? The new covenant. Go ahead. For the redemption of the transgression. So you see, hold on. They, they speak about the testament. The, the new, what about the New Testament? You don't even know what the New Testament is. Okay? What is the New Testament? What's the New Testament all about? It's, all, it's the same. Listen, it's the continuation of the story from the Old Testament, but it's dealing with the, the new and revised covenant, which is still dealing with the same people that never changed. Go ahead. For the redemption of the uh, transgression that were under the first testament, they which were called might receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. Hmm. And go ahead and keep going, keep going. Uh, verse, uh, we'll jump. Uh, verse 22. Uh, and almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. It was, it was therefore necessary that the pattern of things in the heavens should be purified with these with these but the heavenly things themselves with with better sacrifice than these 
For Hamashaya is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figure of truth, but into the heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of the Most High for us. That's it. So he, right, so ultimately we always needed a sacrifice, whether it be a blood sacrifice, but ultimate blood sacrifice was Yahweh Shai, right? So technically you can see that the Lord does deal with human sacrifice, technically. Right? Well, even when judgment comes, that's a sacrifice. That's really appeasing the wrath of the Lord. So if you want to get technical, okay? You see? But well, we don't go and offer a, you know, <laughs> they, that's that's the Lord who does that. The Lord is, is responsible for all. That's not man who, you know, except when it comes to the certain laws, right? Right? Because when you, when you, when it says that you put a, a, an adulterer to death in the, in the law, Right? That appeases the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, yeah. So, technically, yeah. That, that's what that is. You know? It sounds harsh, but that's exactly what that is, man. Alright? Go ahead. Verse 25. Nor yet that he should offer himself often, as the high priest entered into the holy place every year with blood of others. Mm -hmm. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world, but now once in the end of the world had he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. That's it. So the scriptures say what? It was appointed once for a man to die. Oh, that's, that's, what, I, that's what I figured too. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And as it was appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. Right, and that man is speaking about Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, so, so I think that's it on that. A little bit more. What? So Hamashiach was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second yeah, time without man. sin unto salvation. Right. Right. That's it. That's it. It's all about this, the salvation through what? Through Yahweh Shai, based upon his sacrifice. And that sacrifice was, a, was the, the greatest sacrifice on the earth. Okay? So what? He got the greatest reward. Plain and simple. Go ahead, bro. Start from one. This is uh, Revelation 5 and 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. That book represents these scriptures that we have in our hands right now. Go ahead. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book. Right. Because the, the book, the seals represent what? The understanding, right? The scriptures speak about, uh, you know, deliver a book unto you. And it's like, you know, as if it was sealed. I can't read it because it's sealed. And I am unlearned. Yeah. You understand? Matter of fact, my brother can get that real quick. Go ahead and read that. Isaiah 29 uh, and verse, we'll start at verse 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. He hath closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers hath covered. Right, and there was a time that everyone's eyes were closed. Okay, everyone's eyes were closed to the understanding of the, of the, of the scriptures. They didn't understand the fullness of the scriptures. Until what? Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Mm -hmm. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. Right. And the book is delivered unto him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. He saith, I am not learned. That's it. That's it. Because the, the understanding is sealed unto him. From, by who? By Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. So, go ahead, does it hurt? Yeah, it says, uh, this is uh, back to Revelation 5 and verse uh, 4. Oh, uh, actually, we don't even verse 3. It says, Neither under the earth was able no, to start, start from yeah, verse 3. Right? Okay. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. Mm -hmm. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto, unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's Yahweh Shai. So he, he what? He loosens the, the, the seals. 
So he gave, he allowed us to get the understanding. That's why he said that I will send you the comforter. Who said that? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. So when Yahweh Shai left, Yahweh Shai was comforting the men of the Lord when he was on the earth. But then when he left, he sent back the comforter, which was what? The Holy Spirit. Okay? And that's what comforted the men of the Lord. Okay? So that's that understanding. So you, you can say, you can't really say it's just the scriptures because you have a lot of people who have the scriptures in their hand and they don't understand the scriptures. The comforter really deals with the understanding, the Holy Spirit that, that guides you, teaches you. The spirit of truth, as it will. You got something higher? John. Go ahead. Uh, this is 1 John 5 and verse 20. And we know that the Son of the Most High has come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true, even in his son, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. This is the true power and eternal life. Yeah. Right? The true power is what? Through his, what? Through his son. Okay? You have to go through the son. If you don't know the son, you don't know the father. That's how it works. Does it have any other precept? Go ahead. Go ahead, Mark. John 14 and 6. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. You can't go to the Father without Yahweh Shai. That's the importance. So if Yahweh Shai rejected you, guess what? The Father rejected you. And you have no hope. Go ahead. And from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mahai. This is John 5 uh, and verse 21. For as the Father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. Yeah. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? The, the Heavenly Father, it's just like when, when you have a king, right? When the king, you know, the king sits his, sits, his successor is his son, the son has the power now. The son actually has the power, right? And on earth, which is obviously isn't, doesn't apply in the heavens, but on earth, right, the king will start calling his son Lord. You know, like in a, you know, in a sense, he'll be like, well, you know, like in a sense, he'll be like, I wouldn't say the Lord. I wouldn't say the Lord. Okay, I wouldn't say that. But he'll reference his son as the king. I'll say that. King David called Yahweh Shai Lord. It's king Solomon Lord, but he understood that was Yahweh Shai in the spirit. Okay? But, you know, the king would reverence the son's decision, so to speak. The son now has the power. The people are looking at the son, uh, you know, they're looking at the sun now. They're not looking towards the, king, the old king anymore. They're looking at the new king. Okay? Not saying that the Heavenly Father is the power source. I'm speaking about on earth now. But the Heavenly Father gave Yahweh Shai that power as his son. So judgment is given to him. So if he's not, if you're not on his side, you're not on the Father's side, man. You're done. He, he, he commands the angels. The scriptures say that the angels, he's over all the angels. And the angels bow down and worship him. So, are, so you saying you're greater than, than Michael the Archangel? Are you greater than Gabriel? In this, in this flesh that you're in? Um, you got a quick reset? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, John 5, 22. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Ooh, Son. Even as they honor the Father. So you have to honor the Son like you honor the, the Heavenly Father. You see that? So you gotta, we gotta, listen, we're not honoring Yahweh Shai enough. How about that? How about that? Go ahead. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. That's it. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 3 and 22. Hmm. It says, uh, Who has gone into heaven and is on the right hand of Yahweh, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. You know Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, you should go up. Go up. Yeah. Uh, 1 Peter 3 and 21. The like figure whereon to even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, 
but the answer of a good conscience toward Yahweh by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Mashaya, mm -hmm. who has gone into heaven and is on the right hand of Yahweh, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. Right. They're subject unto him. So guess who else is subject unto him? Satan. So he can command Satan to go get you, man. You see, when brothers is tempted, they're tempted. It's Yahweh Shah is sending Satan to tempt you. You see that? And he knows how far far you can go. Well, hold on, Dick. Was he not in the flesh? He was in the flesh now. So he knows what he knows what I'm going. He's not sending Satan to you and to you no, know, not knowing what it's like, because he, he's been tempted himself. Far above our temptation. <laughs> you understand? Go ahead. Yeah, this is uh first Corinthians 15 and um 27, just to back you up. It says, uh for he, hath, for he hath put all things under his feet, but when he said all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. Hmm. Hmm. All things under his feet. And, and when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that Yahweh may be all in all. That's it. You have to understand, Yahweh is the power source. Okay? It's like you got a power, I don't know, a, a generator. And then you got other plugs, other things attached to the generator. The generator is the power source. Okay? You have to understand. That he's always going to be um, praised. Um, any brother have any other precepts? Yeah. So oh, okay. Go ahead, brother. Isaiah 53 and 12. <clears throat> um, it says, Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he has poured out his soul unto death, and he has num he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. So he made, he bare the sin of nations. Okay, he actually bare the sin of the nation. He bear, we're bearing our own sins. He bare the sin of the nation. So, like I say, the new thing I, I say now is what. That what we go through as a body is what Yahweh Shai went through as an individual. All right? Um, more on that? Go ahead, Brian. This is Hebrews 1 and verse 4. Being made so much better than the angels, yes, sir. as he hath by inheritance of the, of obtained a more excellent name That's than the they. I was thinking of in my head. Yes, he, he, right, he's made much better than the angels. The top spirit on the earth. Go ahead. Under your house, obviously. Under your house. Okay, go ahead. Verse 5. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bring, when he bringeth in the first begotten to the world, he saith, And let all the angels of the Most High worship him. Mm. So, so Sakari saying that before. I remember they said that you're not supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. So why would the angels worship him? But you you don't worship him. You see? That's that's stupid. Of course we're supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. And when Yahweh Shai comes, I want to see them not worship him. I want to see them not bow down their face to the earth. Huh. That's something else? Yeah. That's something else, Mahaya? Yeah. Go ahead. Psalms 2. In verse 12, kiss the son, lest he be angry, and he perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Yeah, lest you perish. Well, that's that angel that was in the wilderness. Give me that. Where it said, obey this angel. You know what that is, Azakar? Or whoever gets it first. You know? It was an angel that was sent to guide them. Right? In the wilderness. And that angel was Yahweh Shai. So, Paul says that too. Well, you can even get, 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 you know, get multiples. You know what I'm saying? You want to get, uh, get the Romans? You want to get the Romans one? Go ahead. This is, uh, this is Romans chapter 10 and verse, uh, verse 1. And it, it goes, it puts the same way to uh, the topic. It says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. Mm -hmm. 
For I bear them record that they have the zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. For they, because all Israelites, they, they have a connection to their Heavenly Father, even the wicked Israelites, you know? There's some type of connection there, right? It speaks about the Gentiles being a law unto themselves. That's speaking about the Israelites following that amongst the Gentiles, amongst the heathen. They were called Gentiles, and they were what? They were a law unto themselves, meaning what? They knew inherently uh, that, for example, they might know that pork was there. Yeah, that's not that's not to be eaten. Without learning the law, they know how to that's, that's uh, you know, I can't eat no raw food. I can't eat no half-cooked food. I'm not into these orgies that they're doing. That's wicked. You see? Go ahead. Um, so like the, uh, this is 1 Corinthians 10. And verse uh, verse one. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Yahushai. Right? You see? So he was the one that were whereby was used to give uh, uh, Moses the power of miracles. Okay? So, um, you got some uh, Numbers, sound like an Exodus 23 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way. And I mean that angel, that word, that angel is capital A, correct? Mm -hmm. So that's a different angel than other angels. Go ahead. That's your Habashat, go ahead. To keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. So and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. That's it. So you have they have to obey that 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 um that entity, which was Yahweh Shai, and he, he spoke for the Heavenly Father. Okay, so what he said, the Heavenly Father, they were in agreement. Okay, so if he said, don't do that, well, the Heavenly Father is in agreement with that. And if you do that, you're disobeying the Heavenly Father. Okay? Right? So, when, you know, he would come, he would speak in the cloud, and, he, you know, Moses would hear the voice, and he'd say, oh, shoot. You know, and he understood that was the Heavenly Father. It's just like you sent your son as an ambassador, right? Like the parable, he said, at last he sent his son. And that dude became the owner of that vineyard over the edge. Because that's as if you murder him. That's as if you're trying to murder him. You know what I'm saying? Precept? Uh, Matthews, Matthews 19 and 21. And Yahweh said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, Go and sell all that thou hast, give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasures in heaven. Come and follow me. Mm. Well, break it down. Uh, it's about, um, uh, at the end of the day, Yahweh Shai is the most important that you have to look at. You know, you have to follow Yahweh Shai, and uh, through, through Yahweh Shai, you'll be able to obtain your salvation. And regardless of anything that's, that's uh, like even keeping the laws, even keeping the commandments, that's not enough. You have to follow your own child. That's right. That's right. Back up to This is uh, the book of Galatians. Right. The book of Galatians, chapter 3, and verse, um, verse 10. For as many as, of, as are of the works of the law are under the curse, for it was written, Curses every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of Yahweh is evident, for, for the just shall live by faith. That's it. The just is going to live by faith. All right? And it, it, it's, 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 not, has not, it's not about the law per se, but the law is important. Okay? Because you can't be delivered based upon the law. You're being delivered based upon your faith. In your house shot. Okay. Precept. Uh, verse 12. And the law is not of not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Yahweh Shai has 
has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone that hangs on the tree. Mm -hmm. Hi, you got something? Matthews 10 verse 32 Matthews 10 and 32 which reads whosoever therefore shall confess confess me before men him will I confess also before my father which is in heaven right so you have to confess Yahweh Shai before men so that he can be an intercession for you before the heavenly father very important Okay, we're going into the importance of Yahweh Shai. That was that angel in the wilderness. That's really, that's who they were disobeying. All right, they were disobeying Yahweh Shai. Through disobeying Yahweh Shai, that angel, they were disobeying Yahweh. Okay, so the elect is not, we're not making that mistake. We're willing to read that number. Okay, give me a second Peter's 2 and 1. You got something else? Okay, real quick. Yep. John 14 and 23, and Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father, and my father will love him, and he will come unto unto him and make uh, and make our abode with him. Right. Now go break that down, bro. Okay. So if you keep uh, if you look as uh you know, I said, um, he that heareth me heareth him that sent me. So if you're keeping the, the words of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, you're you're keeping the commandments of uh, Yahweh, you're, as a, as the brother brought it out, um, you're reverencing the you're reverencing the father by reverencing the son. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right. And if you disobey the son, mm -hmm. you're disobeying the father. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something about this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is uh, Saint John five and twenty three. That all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father which hath sent him. That's it. That's it. So you better honor. You better honor the father. And you have to honor the son, man. All right? Or you have to honor the, the, the father and the son, right? Oh, uh, that's why it says what it says in um, Proverbs 30 and uh, 4. All right? Brother wants to get that real quick. Hi, you hold this up? Yeah. Uh, this is John 15 and verse 23. He that hateth me hateth my father also. That's it. And guess what? He that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Keep going. Keep going. Uh -huh. Come on, uh, verse. Verse 24, if I had not done among them the works which none other men did, they had they had not had sin. But now have they both been, mm -hmm. been sorry, now have they both seen and hated me, both me and my father. Right. So the works was the was the was the proof in the spirit that he was the son of the Holy Father. Mm -hmm. That was the proof. They had the proof. Right? They had this, the sign there. But they rejected the sign, so they didn't have no excuse. But the ones who were uh, who were spirit, who were in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, right? They they saw it and they understood. Okay. Uh, who has that Second Peter two? And then you had a, you had that preset, right? Uh, Proverbs. Yeah. Come. This is uh, Proverbs thirty and four. Who hath descended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. That's it. That's it. All right. What is his name? What is his son's name? All right. So yeah. So that's going back to the Old Testament. So the son was always relevant, but you had to be you had to be high level in the spirit to understand it. All right. If you would have said that back then, they might have killed you, man. Son, right? He ain't son. What do you mean by that? You know, certainly these carnal dudes. Wait a minute, I have to oh, you have something else? Yeah, we'll yeah. This is a uh, Proverbs eight and verse twenty-seven. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. <laughs> when he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight. Rejoicing always before him. Right, right. Which which one on man? King Solomon had that, that that wisdom, right? He prayed for that wisdom. He got that wisdom. He got that wisdom. 
I have nothing. On the right hand and on the left. So like right. this. Um, you had something else to say? Um, no? Let, no, no. Okay, go, go ahead, Mahai. This is 2 Peter 2 and verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Right. You're going to bring upon them what? Swift destruction, man. Okay? <laughs> Only quick. Only quick. Right? That's what will happen because what? They're denying the Lord. You know? And they, and they believe they're in the truth. Right? Give me a second Timothy's uh, 2 and verse 12. You got another piece of what? This is Proverbs 8 and verse 30, 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his soul. Mm -hmm. All they that hate me love death. Right, all they that hate me love death. <laughs> you see that? You see that? Right? You know, they said it, it was said in the Deuteronomy, they said that they trade this day life and death. And these people chose death. All right? Put it up. Uh, 2 Timothy 2, and I'll start at 11. Mm -hmm. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Mm -hmm. if we we'll break that down. Break it all down. Uh, it is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, in the sense of if you're dead to the world, if you're, uh, if you're uh, carrying your cross, you know, for the name of the hour, but from Yahshua. That's right. Uh, if you be dead with him, we shall also live with him. So he will bring you, he will, um, he will, uh, he will, uh, he will uh, he will elect you or he will, he will uh, beam you up in the time of destruction. He will deliver you. Yeah. And um, it says here, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Mm -hmm. right. Right. And also the ones that that, that that you know are dead to the world, they're they're really alive in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're really li alive in the spirit. People are dead. They're the walking dead. See, people we see out there camp, those are all the walking dead, right? They don't, they don't know anything. They don't know up from down there in darkness, right? In obscurity, okay? You got a precept? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, St. John 11 and 25. Yahushua said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. Mm -hmm. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Ooh. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. That's it. Believest thou this? Hey, that's it. That's it. Hey, man, that's it, bro. Sorry, you got something to say? Uh, hey, it's plain. Hey, it's plain, plain money. Yeah, yeah, whatever you got something to say. Uh, go ahead, bro. You got something else? Or no, there's still more in that. Still more in that. Go ahead. Hey, it's still a little bit more. Uh, verse 13. If we believe not, yet he abided faithful. Oh. He cannot deny himself. So I can go with it. I'm just going to add this. Like, this is uh, we're, we're really in the night. The sun is gonna come when Yahushua uh, appears, mm -hmm. and that's really um, that's really when life is gonna begin for the Israelites. You know? mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. and it says, uh, "Though he were dead, right? You know, yet shall he live at the coming of Yahushua." In Malachi four, it says, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. "When the Son of Righteousness." Right? And it said, "Yet shall he live at the coming of Yahushua." Right? Mm -hmm. That's what it said. No, it didn't say yeah. It said yes, shall he live? Though he were dead, yes, shall he live? And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believe this. Right, 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 right. Well, yeah, because that's why it says that's why it says those that sleep. You see what I'm saying to you? When you're when you're alive, right, right. when you're alive, you're you're, you're, you're when you. It says it's different. It says he's a became a quickening spirit. Okay, a lie, uh, you know, you are he are lively stones. We're alive. Okay? We are alive based upon this truth. All right? Because where does the kingdom of heaven start? It starts within us. You see? So the life comes before. Life comes before the kingdom. We're already alive. These people are dead. Okay? Their dead bodies shall lie in the streets. Well, the elect is awake. The elect has the breath. You understand what I'm saying to you? He made, he made Adam a living soul. By what? The breath. So Adam was alive. You understand? When he was given that breath, Adam was alive. Um, 
Oh, you got a script? Yeah, well, hold on. You wasn't ready to finish that, was you? Uh, I was finishing. You gonna finish? Okay. Go ahead. Matthew's 22 and 31. First John 20, 23. Matthew's 22 and 31. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have, have ye not read, which was spoken unto you by the Most High, saying, I am the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, the power of Jacob. The Most High is not the power of the dead, mm -hmm. but of the living. That's it. Well, the Heavenly Father is not the power of the dead, but of the living. <laughs> you see that? Right? He's not the power of the dead, but of the living. That's why that's why Yahweh Shai, when he's not wanting to bury his, uh, his father, he said, listen, now the dead bury the dead. Oh, so this is referring to saying what? That he was alive, right? If he said let the dead bury the dead, so what is he? What was what was the guy, the brother? He had to be alive, although he was dead. <laughs> you see, you see, this, this is what trips these people up. They what they can't understand the scriptures, right? These double means and you know, because they, 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 you have to be in the spirit to get it. Um, Priest up high. Uh, oh no, no, who has that first jump? What? Uh, he said first John 2 and 23. First John 2 and verse 23. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. But he that acknowledges the Son hath the Father also, man. <laughs> he that what? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. The ninth, read that again. I said that wrong. Read yeah. that again. Uh, First John Lock 2 and verse 23. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. Right. But he that so like, but he that acknowledges acknowledges mm -hmm. the Son hath the Father hath also. The Father also. Okay. You see that? So you have to acknowledge the, the Yahweh Shai. All right. Um <clears throat> precept. Um St. John 6 and 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth, mm -hmm. the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That's right. Well, and Yahweh Shai comes in the bottom of the book. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's just Yahweh Shai, right? Right? Yeah. Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai. Um, let's get Matthew 19, verse 27. And then the whole Romans 8 and 17 out. Yeah. Matthew, St. Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, 16, 16. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we are forsaken now and followed thee. Mm -hmm. what, shall, what shall we have therefore? And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, mm -hmm. he also shall sit But then hold on, they forsake all. Oh, what does that mean? They forsook their lives. Mm -hmm. So the scripture said what? They, they love not their life unto death. Right? When you go out there in the highways and the byways, you're making yourself a living sacrifice. When you're behind a computer screen and you have an avatar, you're not making yourself a living. You just have a Bible as an avatar. No one knows who you Who's this guy? How are you making yourself a living sacrifice? No one knows you. But when you're out there in the elements and people can see you and take pictures and, and whatever the case is, when your face is out there, right? Everyone might not hit you, find you on the YouTube. We're on the YouTube, but guess what? Our, 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 you know, we're being suppressed on the YouTube, right? We're being suppressed on the YouTube. But when you go out there in the streets, and especially if you're in a, a chief place of concourse, you got a whole bunch of people seeing you. You gotta have maybe hundreds of people seeing you a day, depending where you're at. You might have thousands, depending on what area you're in. Every time you come out. So that's a great cloud of witnesses right there. You're making your body a living sacrifice. Then you're becoming fools for your house shine sake. All these things are important. And you can't then don't despise the chastity in the Lord. Don't despise it either, man. Because we're not doing anything wrong. Right? Don't be ashamed of your house shy. We're not doing that. We're doing the right thing. They're, they're bugged out. They got problems, man. Them dudes are laughing. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And he'll he'll go and, and you you think it's a it's a it's a like a manly guy, and he's gonna go meet Tom, you know, for sexual favors, man. 
straight up, bro. Remember, I heard this, you know, sitting, sitting next to this Edom. I heard this Edom like talking to this other Edom. Like, and he said straight, man. Yeah, I don't see my, 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 you know, he said he used the word, I might like, use the F word, my flavor friend. And yeah, I'm doing what I gotta do. The other guy's like, oh, what do you mean by that? And I knew what, I knew what he meant. I knew what he, well, you know, the other guy was like, what did you down mean this by this? <laughs> I understood what he meant, what he meant by that. He's a down flamer, man. So you got these guys doing that, and they're gonna be laughing at you on the street pushing the righteous, righteous words of Yahweh Shai. To hell with these people. But guess what? That's part of what? The sacrifice, man. So we take that sacrifice cheerfully so that what we can so we can what? Get that reward. Read that again. Okay, you got something else? Yeah. Okay. Well finish that off first, brother. Yeah, it says, uh, Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Right, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, man. Okay, so you want to have that that, that power. So Yahweh Shai, well, guess what? You're going to have to go through the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. Um, go ahead, brother. Uh, this is Matthew 16 and verse 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, mm -hmm. and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Right, so some of these people that are going back into the world, and they think they're saving their life. <laughs> and really, they're just losing their life, and they're becoming dead. Oh, oh, he that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Then they're going to be judged. Right? Because when you, you, okay, let's say you go you go to the world and you have a little fun, right? But then the famine comes in, complete anarchy. Are you going to be, how are you going to feel? You, you're probably going to want to do a, a Judas Iscariot, man. That's it on that? Sit on that? What's on? Uh, Matthew 5 and 16. Let your light so shine before men, mm -hmm. that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That's it. So you're not supposed to be hiding behind a computer screen with no uh, no video, just an avatar. Okay? No, you, you have to go out there, you know, and do the work. Romans 8. Romans 8 and, uh, and 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if children, then heir, heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Hamashai. If so be, if, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also that we may be also glorified together. Mm -hmm. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right. So the suffering that we're going through now is not even worthy to be compared to the reward. Okay? But we have to suffer the same way Yahweh Shai suffered. Okay? So let's have a precept. Here it comes. This is uh, St. Matthew 5 and verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. That's it. That's it. The prophets always were persecuted. All right? They, they've always been persecuted. Uh, go, 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 go ahead, break that down, brother. Yeah, so, um, a uh, scripture says that, um, the last shall be first, the first shall be last. All right, so a, um, we have to go through that uh, that straight gate right now that um, in order to to uh, be partakers of the, the kingdom of heaven, the Yahweh Shai. All right? You know, it's a tough walk, but hey, that's what it takes. You know, the scripture talks about a, a, a one, and that's the second Ezra 7 chapter, one path on um, the right hand is fire, the left, left hand is, is, uh, is water. Okay, and that only one man can go at uh, one man can go at once, you know. So, so, so really, that's the path in order to receive that reward, man. Okay, persecutions, uh, tribulations, being mocked. Okay, but the scripture just said, "Blessed are ye." Okay, because we're really there's no there's no reward in this in this kingdom. This is really a kingdom of death. They're trying to see the life. Okay, in the, the upcoming kingdom. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. Um, read that. 
Oh, hold on. You have a precept? Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon uh, 3 and verse 4. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. Mm, a little, so a little chastised. Everything you're going through is a little chastisement. It's little. Right? You know what Yahweh Shai chastisement was all about? Okay? And him, what, what happened? He gained everything. So he had, a, he had the greatest sacrifice, but he gained everything. He's willing to make us joint heirs for our little sacrifice, man. And being unprofitable servants, man. Go ahead. Uh, and having been a little chastised, uh, they shall be greatly rewarded, for the most I prove them and find them worthy Ooh. for himself. Prove them through what? Through tribulation. Go, go, go ahead with um you have another one? Uh right quick. Go uh, ahead. This is Matthew eleven and verse thirty. My yoke is easy mm -hmm. and my burden is light. That's it. My yoke is easy. He said, Listen, this is easy, bro. You know? This is easy. Go, go ahead, brother. Yeah, that was that five. Mm -hmm. uh, Second Corinthians uh four and five. For we preach not ourselves, but Hamashayak Yahushai, the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Yahushai's sake. For the most high who commanded the light to shine out of the darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the of the knowledge of the glory of the most high in the face of Yahushai Hamashiach. For we have this treasure in this earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be may be of the most high and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Right, we're not we're right. You understand? We're not without hope. Although we might be going through things, we're not without hope. The Heavenly Father said He would. He would help us, man. If we trust in Him, He will help us. Okay? So we're not we're, we're not just in despair like these people. Oh, get me um Ecclesiastes 4. Okay, in verse 1. Real quick, real quick. We're gonna hold that right here. This is Ecclesiastes 4 and verse 1. So I returned and considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, and they had no comforter. And on the, and on the side of the oppressors, there was power, but they had no comforter. They had no comforter. So they were just, they were just done through. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 8. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast, cast down, but not destroyed. That's it. down but not destroyed. You know? All right? Esau is going to be cast down and completely destroyed. These jakes that are not just true, they're going to be cast down and destroyed. Okay? Go ahead. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be, might be made manifest in our body. Right. Go ahead. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Right, because it says what? It says uh, we are killed all the day long. Mm -hmm. You understand? Just being in this society is death. Being in society is a, is a, is a, is a nothing but a vexation, a sigh and a cry, right? It's a sigh. You know? Don't you sigh? I mean, don't you talk about it? Something going on, right? Something going on in your mind. There's a war going on between this world and you. There's a spirit groaning. Yeah, groaning. You're groaning. The words we cannot utter. We cannot utter. Man. You're going through your whole life, you know, every day that there's no groaning whatsoever. There's nothing that bothers. Nothing that uh, grinds your gears, as they say. They grind your gear. Grind your gears. This is some other crap. Yeah, they grind your gears. <laughs> Means to get you mad, you know. In other words, you see what I'm saying? There's something wrong, man. Yeah. This society is full of vexation, man. Yeah. We, we don't even know like how we struggle when we sleep, cause you know, like, you know, you know, a brother went to the dentist and they said that he, his, his jaw was clenching when he sleeps. Like they can tell when your jaw is clenching. Mm -hmm. That's stress. Yeah. That's, yeah, they say that's when you're stressed. Mm -hmm. You know. So 
you're living in sleep, you're, you're traumatized, you know. Yeah. Because of the trauma, you know. Yeah, 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 it comes out, it comes out. Sometimes you feel it in your down, in your whole back. Yeah. Like the back, you just feel like the stress, it just, just, just concentrates in your back. You know what I mean, dude? Yeah. Right? That's, that's how it is, you know? Go ahead. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Yahushai shall raise us up also by Yahushai, and shall present us with you. That's it. That's it. All right. Go ahead. First uh, Peter 4 and 13, But rejoice, insomuch as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached, twenty six. If ye be reproached, if ye be reproached for the name of Yahushai, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and, uh, and of the Most High resteth upon me, and on their part he is evil spoken of. We'll break it down last. But on your part he is glorified. So the same way that it, as we were reading before, if we if we suffer with Yahushai, we'll be exalted with Yahushai. You know, if we if we approach as a uh, for for righteous for righteousness' sake, uh, you know, happy are you because the same thing they did unto the prophets, unto uh, unto unto the holy men of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. As it says, uh, there's one more. What? But let none of you suffer as murderers or as thieves or as an evil doer. Or as an easy body in other man's matter, mm -hmm. yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him uh, let him glorify the Most High on this behalf. You're supposed to be happy, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody say, "Oh, I seen this person from work." Well, beautiful. That's part mm -hmm. of the cloud of witnesses, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see this, you see whatever, you know. Person keep people scoffing. That has to come. You can't always have a good day. Brothers coming up here right now. Sometimes you gotta have scoffing days, right? It's the day for the scoffing. It's the day for the brother trying to learn. Right? We need that. But that balance is going to be there. To remind you, you know what I mean? That's how a shy day. Okay? Um, get the Philippians, brother? Yep. This is uh, Philippians 1 27. 27. and verse 27. Only you let your conversation be, be as it becometh the gospel of Yahweh Shai, that whether it come, that whether I come and see you, or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. That ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries. What, what verse are you at? I'm at, I'm at verse uh, 28 right now. Mm -hmm. Verse 28. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of Yahweh. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Yahweh Shai. Read that again. Read okay. that part. Um, 28 kind of says, And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to Break it down. As a matter of fact, go up, break it down. Come. Start verse, uh, start verse uh, 26. That your rejoicing may be more abundant in Yahweh Shai Mashiach for me by my coming to you again. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Speaking of, you know, the testimony of Yahweh by Shai. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sticking on the, the oracles, the prophecies. That whether I come and see you, or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. So that our, our good works can be uh, heard, you know, by, by, by the people all around, you know. Uh, that whether I come and see you, or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. That ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. All right, so we'll just, hey, just keep pushing the word of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. All right? Um, it says, uh, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, right. and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of Yahweh. All right, so for them, this gospel, it actually, it accuses them. It's for their, their detriment, but for us, that's the power of, uh, unto salvation. That's what we said. We're, we're, we're not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. Yeah. You know, um, Scripture says that um, he has, uh, 
He has made the uh, the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. You know, um, and it, he has used uh, the foolishness. You know, uh, uh, what is considered fool foolishness to confound the things which are considered wise. You know, I'm roughly paraphrasing. You know, it says, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries. Right, so hey, we have to stand boldly in this truth, man. Okay. That's right. That's right. And it says the reason they hate it is because what they they hate the light because their deeds were evil. You have to understand that they hate it because their deeds are wicked, right? But dude, just come. Why do you think when the flamers they got they got problems? They got they're mad. Why are they mad? We know why they're mad. All right, not because what we're doing is wrong, but what what they're doing is wicked. It's being exposed. You see, Esau he comes up and gets mad and they. Got that face on, but deep down he can't he can't sleep well at night, man. After hearing the gospel, he's not getting a good night's sleep because it's convicting his soul. Go ahead. Um, verse twenty-eight, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of Yahweh. So hey, we're um, the elect, the hopefully elect of Yahweh Shemasha are in a good case because. You know, we see things that the, the, the rest of the world don't see, being for the fact that they are dead. Yes, we're dead to this world, but spiritually we're made alive, looking forward to, uh, once again, the, the reward that's coming. Mm -hmm. All right? It says, for unto you it is given in the behalf of Yahweh Shai, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. All right? But hey, with that, in order to receive this reward, there comes suffering, because the suffering is have to be known so that we're not... Um, we're not being condemned with the people of the world. We're not going to go through the same type of trouble that they're going to go through during mm -hmm. Jacob's trouble, the famine. You know, being really being faced with taking this, you know, the device. And the scripture says that um, uh, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that's right. just the um, um, keeping the word of the patience, really, really um, striving. Uh, um, just keep going with the, with this truth, you know. Okay, pushing the word. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, declaring, standing stiff for the name of Yahweh Shmuel Yashai. Okay, suffering for the name of Yahweh Shmuel Yashai. You know, Yahweh Shmuel Yashai is not gonna. He's not. A, he's not a man that he should lie. He's a son of man that he should repent. Okay, he's he sent the word and he's gonna do it, man. Which mm -hmm. is ultimately fulfilling the promise that he gave to uh, to Abraham, the kingdom of heaven. It says, having the same conflict which he saw in me, and now here to be in me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Precept. Uh, First Corinthians 1 and, 1 and 9. The Most High is faithful, faithful, by whom ye are called unto the fellowship of his Son, Yahweh HaMashiach, our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren, that by the name of our Lord, Yahweh HaMashiach, that ye all speak the same thing. And that they that and that there be no division among you, but that there be but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Go, go ahead, brother. You got something else to say? Um, read it again. Read it again, brother. Okay. Thank you. Verse ten. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that they that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you. Right. That's a, that's a perfect um, title for what we're saying. That you know, the importance of Yahweh Shai, the title of this lesson. I, I mean, you know, you know, Yahweh Shai is important in order for us to receive salvation. Like I said, you can't be saved by the law. Okay, and you got these other, you know, these other people. They don't agree with this, man. They want to go straight to the Most High. So this, the Lord sent His Son. Okay, the Lord Yahweh sent His Son. For, uh, for 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 no for us for our sins to be to be uh, forgiven, okay. For our prayers to be heard, or for us to receive a deliverance. But but and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Right, so that's being in one accord in the testimony of Yahweh Okay. Read read that again from the First Corinthians uh, one and ten. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of the of the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that ye all speak the same thing. That's it. So it's all about it's all about the joining together, right? Because Yahweh Yahweh Shai said, "What uh, 
they are, uh, I, we are one, saying he would want that, that the elect is one as himself. Okay, roughly paraphrasing, all right? Because what, they, they are one in, in agreement. So we have to be in agreement with Yahweh Shai, with Yahweh, which means we're in agreement with Yahweh. Okay, and that we're also we're in agreement with one another. All right, because it's, a, it's really one spirit. It's one spirit being joined together. Okay, but who's the who's the who's the focal for who's the the uh, the head of that? Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the head of that. So we we following the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And if I may add, um, in spiritual too, because the heading is uh, Paul exhorts the unit mm -hmm. to be all, uh, mm -hmm. all one minded. Yep. And, so, uh, and reading on, it reads, and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That's it. That's it. Same mind and in the same judgment. Okay, that's why brothers speak it. Brothers want to, you know, like finish brother's sentences. Brothers thinking the same way. So I say, that's why I say it's chilling with a brother's kind of like chilling with yourself in a sense. Because it's kind of the same, it's the same spirit. You know? Yeah, absolutely, brother. Like, mm -hmm. You're not going to have unity camps with people that have different doctrine. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to work. Here it is, you know, we, we believe through the Spirit of Father Yahweh Shem Oshai, starting with the our elders and apostles, that the, the, um, the MOTV is the, the device. This, um, the electronic device, all right? So we're not going to join with, with somebody else that believes another thing, you know? The scripture says, can two walk together lest they be agreed? Oh, that's what you have there? Or you keep bringing it up. Uh, this is Amos 3 and verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Okay, so how can, right, you, right. Yeah, how can you walk with somebody um, and you, you don't have the same, the same mind? Eventually, you're going to bump heads. All right, that's why the Lord often he has has put his elect into the house of David, and those that are uh, he has made that separation. Those of the house of David, those that are outside, okay. Think not that I come to bring peace on earth, but uh, a division, okay. He has separated his man from uh, the people of the world. Well, uh, there's more than that. Uh, there's more. This is 2 Corinthians 6. That's exactly where I was born. Right. Good. This is good. 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 14. Be not iniquity yoked together with unbelievers, with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what com communion hath light with darkness? Right. So, no salaki, brother. Right. Um, right. So unbelievers, that's the whole that's, that's the whole testimony. If you go off on one point, you're an unbeliever. You don't believe in your house shut. Going from a, hey, they, they like to bring out, um, you know, you know, the great doctrine, this and that. But a, hey, that's how it, it was set up, man. That's the structure y'all by Shemashah sure set up. How you deal with this, this thing? If you're in, a, uh, in disagreement with this, you're not in agreement with Yahweh Shah. You're actually, you're offended in Yahweh Shah. Yeah. So therefore, there's consequences behind that. Um, and let me add this real quick. If, and if you have someone who's a, an enemy. Of a person, you go chilling with that enemy that makes you that's a betrayal. That's a betrayal of that right. person, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're dealing with someone that's an enemy of Yahweh Shai, that's that's a that's a betrayal. Okay? You got someone like you had a demon come over to call you how uh, the Lord Satan. Well, did we put a blessing on it? We're not gonna put a blessing on you, okay? Because you're calling our Lord Satan. See, you're our, you're our enemy. Oh, do I not hate them, oh Lord, that hate thee? Okay. But This is uh, the book of First John and verse. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. So, finish that out, Joe. Finish that out. Okay. Verse fifteen. And what concord hath Hamashiach with Doya, or what part hath he that believeth with the infidel? Right. What part does Yahweh Shai have with Belial, or Belial, or the devil? He has no part with the devil. So why you, when you chill with the devil? That's a betrayal. Okay, the scriptures also say you can't serve two masters. Go ahead. Verse 16. And what agreement hath the temple of the Mosai with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As the Mosai hath said, I will dwell in them, 
and walk with them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Right, so that's like bringing idols into the temple. You can't say you serve the only father, but then you bring the idols. That's a betrayal, yeah. right? You're trying to sacrifice pork on the altar, but you say, oh, I believe in that before. Don't you see I'm trying to make a sacrifice? But that's a wicked sacrifice. Yeah. What would your precept? Yeah. It also says uh, that you can't sit at the table of the most high and at the table of devils. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so that would answer back a little bit. This is, uh, uh, this is 2 John, verse 10. It says, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, and the house of David. So it says, neither bid him God speed. That's it. That's it. That's it. Into your, into your house, really, the, the awful elect, but we know for a fact the elect is the temple of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? So it says that whosoever um, defiles the temple of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the Lord will destroy it. Okay, so the Lord's not even going to let people try to come infiltrate uh, this, this this building that he's building right now. You know? And we, we got to keep the same way. So we have to keep we have to keep our you know our distance from these people, man, because they're here to, to uh, destroy the Lord's building. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We have, to, we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. Right. When you look up uh, God's speed, it says to rejoice, to be glad. To rejoice exceedingly, to be well, to thrive, right? You know? In other words, you know, you tell you tell a person, you know, like, you know, like, yo, have a blessed day, you know? We don't give no blessed day to these people, you know what I'm saying? Don't give them no salutations and shalom and that. Uh, guess what? There's no peace to the wicked. Right. Okay, so we're right. not really even supposed to be giving them all that. All right? Okay. Verse 11 says, For he that biddeth him God's speed, is partakers of oh. his evil deeds. Oh. Yeah. So right, so if you're acting like you're cool with him, like if you're cool with him on that level, you might as well go and do what he does. Because Yahweh Shai, he saw the fire. Right, I didn't see no scripture where it says, Yahweh, that thus Yahweh Shai said, peace be unto you, yeah. to the wicked yeah. scribes. Yeah. He said, you vipers. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You shall die in your sins. Yeah. He didn't bid, he didn't even bid no God's speed. Yeah. You see? But does that mean you're in court and you got to go before a judge and you say, man, F you, you wicked. <laughs> no, no, you use wisdom. There's time, you know what I'm saying to you? You have to use wisdom now. Because Jake will be simple. You see the police, and you say good morning. I ain't going to say good morning. I ain't going to say hello, officer. But yo, F it. You, 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 first of all, he's a human <laughs> mic. Number one. All right, bro. You got to use wisdom. But when you're dealing with people that you don't need to do that to, if you're not, if they're not an authority, why the hell do you need to do that? Mm -hmm. If they're not going to affect your life and they're not part of your life, why do you need to do it? You don't need to do that, right? Go ahead, bro. Oh, uh, Salak, so you got something? You hold something? Uh, real quick, it says that there is a reproof that is not homely against some man holdeth his tongue and he is wise. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, just uh, yeah. Galatians uh, 1 and 6, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Hamashiach into another gospel, mm -hmm. which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. but, but though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which ye have, that, than that which have selected. Then that which we have preached unto you, yeah. let him be accursed. All right. So, so are we wrong if we tell them that? F you, man. Get out of here, man. Beat it. No, no, no. And by the way, most high gonna kill you and your family. <laughs> right? We look at him in the. Are we? Are we going out? Am I wicked, brother? No, we're not wicked. We're doing. That's the right thing to do. Because they're not accepted, huh? To an angel. Right. Even to an angel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna fuck that. They watch me read this shit up. Man, you gonna tell this angel, this angel got demons on him. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that one. That's funny, though. That's funny, the angel got demons on That's funny. But yo, ultimately, right, we, we, we don't accept them because that's a betrayal to Yahweh Shai. Okay? And it's all about Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's where we, we're, we're trying to learn to do what? Make good breaks with Yahweh Shai as much as possible. Come to this tree. More on that? Yeah. Get the last scriptures in Brother 7, 1, 2. 
uh, Matthew 12 and, th and 30, mm -hmm. he that is not with me is against me. Ooh. He that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Hold on, so if they're not with you, how shine the correct doctrine? Say, well, he that uh, believeth on me, believeth on me, has to believe on me in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. So if they don't believe on him in spirit and in truth, then they're not really with him. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why he's going to have some say, I never knew you. Say, have you not done this in your name? You depart from me. I never knew you. Okay? Go ahead. That's it on that. No, you're teaching that the, the, the MOTV is uh, sleeping with white women are an embargo. Well, the Lord's going to, when he comes to see you, he's going to, first of all, you're going to have blood on your hands because you have a lot of people that's going to take it based upon your, your, your false <laughs> ideology. But you're not part of Yahweh Shai. You're not Yahweh Shai. Unless you come out of that and repent. You have another one? Yeah, I'm with it. Okay. Uh, this is Isaiah 8 and verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right. If they're speaking about the hell where you can burn forever, well, there's no light in that person. Okay? And he might go to hell. And burn. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. There ain't, no, you know, ain't no hell, man. Ain't no place where you burn forever. It speaks about hell. It's speaking about the grave. It's speaking about the condition. Get it right. What you got, bro? Yes, sir. Else? Yes, something else? Anybody got anything yeah. else? Uh, this, this pertains to uh, Yahweh Shai praying for the elect. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Romans 8 and um, 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? It is Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, that justifieth. Mm -hmm. Who is he that condemneth? It is Hamashayat that died, yea, rather that is risen again, mm. who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, who also maketh intercession for us. Mm. He condemneth, excuse me. He condemneth and he maketh intercession. That's called a balance. Okay? It's not just all love, 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 love. What about the condemnation? All right? Um... And it's funny, they talk about this love, 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 but then they believe in a hell where you burn forever. What kind of love is that? You, you love somebody, but you're going to allow them to burn in it for eternity. They can't get a drink of water for eternity. For eternity, there's going to be burning. Hmm. No breaks. No 15-minute no breaks from the burning. Wow. That's love. And I'm doing this because I love you. Hmm. Yeah. You burn in eternal hell. Like eternal, there's no number on that term. Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. See, the ideology of these people is completely bugged up, man. Go ahead. Uh, Matthew 15 and 7. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, These people draw nigh unto me with their mouth, yeah. and honor me with their lips, but their hearts is far from me. That's it. But in vain do they, they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of man. That's it. That's it, bro. Okay. People are full of it, man. All right? And if they're not preaching for doctrine, they're against Yahweh Shai, which means they're against us. If they're enemies of Yahweh Shai, they're enemies of ours. All right? Point blank, period. Why? Because it's all about Yahweh Shai. And if you don't have Yahweh Shai, you're going to you're gonna die. You're going to get judged. All right? You're going to get judged. Point blank, period. All right? So anyways, um, with that... I'm saying going to close up the lesson. Lord's room now is edifying for the elect. Okay? Let's say shalom. Salutations, much love and respect to you. I feel like they're pushing this word out of truth and sincerity. Um, I want you all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechah Kodesh. And uh, double honors to my apostle, my name is Great Millstone. Uh, shalom to you both.